Hello, my name is Matt Knopf. I'm with P&G Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we'll be doing a propane conversion kit example on a Power Horse 2000 inverter. And if you want to see that video, you can go to pngtechnologies.com or if you'd like to call us, you could reach us at 734-992-2648 and we'll get started on this one. Okay, what we're going to do to get started, we're going to go ahead and remove the cover. There's just two screws up here. And then this just pops out. And there we go. Just a little tab there in the center. Pop that out here. Now the first thing we got to do is they do not install a gasoline shutoff valve on this. So if you can see the hose right here, it's coming off the bottom of the tank. This is part of the tank. We're going to replace this hose right here. So we'll get to that. Okay, now before you do any disconnections with any of the hose here, make sure all your gas is drained out because once you pull this off, obviously this is the bottom of your tank, you'll have gasoline draining through. So gas is all drained. So what we're going to do is go ahead and just take these clamps off here, here, Grab your hoses, pull them off. Okay, and we'll just reuse these on the other ones. Okay. Alrighty. And what we're going to do here is this is going to spin around. This was like this, okay? Connect it. So what we're going to do is we're going to spin this around this way. Okay. Connect this back up there, okay? First, we're going to go ahead and slide. These are some on this. We'll save this one for the back side because there's a lot of hose barb here. You're not going to get any leaks at all out of this. So let's go ahead, get that on there. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and install this back up on the bottom of the tank. All right. Go ahead and get that clamp on there. They don't have good hose barbs on there, as I can see why they use clamps on them. But okay, get this one set here, and then go ahead and push that on back there. And get your clamp on there. All right, now just tuck it to the side, and you've got access to be able to shut your gasoline off when you want to run propane and then vice versa when you want to run gas shut your propane off come in here turn this on that's that step okay now we're going to remove the rubber boot here we're going to install our slim adapter on here okay and what we'll do is go ahead and remove this hose clamp here pull that back slide the hose up Okay, and just tuck it back out of your way. All right, now these are um, number 10. So we'll just go ahead and get to the back one there. I'm going to pull the nuts off. Their boot sometimes gets in the way. You just kind of pull it back. So let's go ahead and remove this back one here. All right, now when we pull this off away from the carburetor, this boot is its kind of like a grommet, I'll call it, how it slides down into the air box. So just pull that back, and you just pull that out there. It's just, yeah, it's kind of like a grommet, just slides down in there. So now what we gotta do is we will put vice grips on, don't gnarl up the ends, okay? You don't wanna do that because um, you want to make sure that you can put their nuts back on when you put the adapter on. So back these out. There's a lot of meat back in here still, too, because I've had this one on and off. So 
There's a lot of meat back there, so on this one here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and install the slim adapter. Um, your gasket, leave on your existing. We got the studs pulled out. Go ahead and slide that through the frame. Pop your adapter on. All right, and now you don't need a gasket on this side because this is a rubber boot that you seal it against. So just kind of get that lined up. You can't press that in right yet. And then go ahead and install that back on. Get these started. Get the back side on. The back side's the toughest because it's such a small machine. It's just such a tight little area back there. You might have to just kind of pull that boot out of your way just to get that one started. All right, I got her started. All right, go ahead and tighten these down. Okay. All right, now go ahead and feed your boot back down in here. All right, mine just popped in, so I'm good to go. Uh, your hose back here on your breather. Okay, pull that back up. Get that back on there. slid back on me there we go all right finally got it up there <laughs> okay get this back on here again Get our clamp back on there, and that part is done. So now you got access to your shut-off. I kind of just tuck that out of my way. When you pull it back, you can just pull this back out here and lay it down on the side for easy access for you. So that portion is done. Okay, now that we've got our bulkhead installed, what I did is I used this drill bit here, okay? You can pick them up at Harbor Freight pretty cheap. If you don't have this, you can use a hole saw. Um, and just drill it out to three quarters or to the size of that hole right there and then you'll have that Got your fitting in the back. I faced it this way to go towards the carburetor And you'll still have plenty of room after you hook this up Go ahead and get your clamp on there Slide your hose up on there Down. And you got to remember, you're only dealing with six ounces of pressure here, so you don't have to overkill things. Okay, now it's just a matter of going ahead and see what's nice. You can still get access to your oil. All right, go ahead and get the cover back on here. and that is that step right there okay now what we're going to do is we're going to install the regulator assembly and hook up our propane and fire this baby up so what we're going to do is just connect this up to your tank now we give you enough hose here to be able to hook up a hundred pounder just in case you ever want to get a little bit more fuel. Snug that down, and then we'll go ahead and connect. 
connect up our line to the generator and you don't need any pipe dope or teflon for this that's a flare fitting and lock that down okay now on this unit here you've got a primer button here okay your initial start go ahead and hit that for a second or two it'll allow the fuel to come through and get to the carburetor quicker and then you'll have your power adjustment on the back side now i loosen up the jam nut uh, in is lean, out is rich, and we'll go ahead and see if we can get this going. Now we'll turn our fuel on. Okay. Go over here, make sure it's on run. Hit our button. your jam nut down here you're good to go on that okay that was our example conversion of the power horse 2000 inverter to propane if you'd be interested in purchasing this kit from us you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com go to power horse scroll down and you see this unit and the video will also be there if you want to call us you can call 734-992-2648 Thank you very much.